area is muy big. Stockholm, Dawn Master, from death, life. Fuck, excuse me. You got to keep moving. Oh, at least you're still over here, I guess. What do we have here? That's your ground! They prefer so my busy. statues to be the strong, the silent type. We have to fire the lance. Firing an employee? Who knows? You don't say. Yeah. 
Aha. Poisoned, huh? So if I poison myself... Dude, I could start using these bad foods to, uh... <laughs> to trigger my, uh, my rage, honestly. I could start doing that. That might be a bad idea, but it might also be a good idea. Who knows? I don't. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll soon see. Is it a bad idea? Probably. Probably. Probably a very bad idea. But then again, when was eating food not a good idea? <laughs> this will be interesting to try out. Rotten food to activate my rage. Interesting. This will be very interesting. For me. The blood of Black Thunder was filled in holy battle with Sanister, immortalized here for all to worship. This is where they kept the blood of Lathanda. Can't give up now. I visited this place to the forlorn and forgotten age to lay my eyes upon the blood of Lathanda. Shut up, monk. like a magic we mouse have to fire the lance. that voice probably belongs to someone long gone hmm. <laughs> they were mid battle yeah <laughs> yep <laughs> well can get this recording so we can get this on tape guys <laughs> what the fuck dude <sighs> maybe it's their last words maybe that's how it works to get Yankee blade if ever I saw it. It does a little bit more damage. Actually, no, it does a 
less damage. Proceed. Just because the longsword I have is the D4. Hey, Grace. What to do? How much further can I go? I don't think I explored the roof all the way. I'm only gonna do that after this because I don't know if this is a time event or not. But I really don't want to find out the hard way. Like I did with those gnomes. A wand? What is that? That's oh, a little dagger. Dude, I can take these guys easy, dude. Easy. Actually, maybe not. Sentries to arms! Mystic! State your purpose quickly! Stand down, Gish! Is it not Vlacketh's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors, faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? We seek the Sathisk. Show me the way. You are infected. A gig thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. The faithful may be purified. This is Vlacketh's protocol. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Crescia like watches you. Let's get going. Don't waste a step. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. When he was I respect these two. They don't fool around. Oh, I'm more than aware, trust me. I've had plenty of training in what to expect from you. <laughs> Case, lead on, miss. And Estic allowed to soil our halls. Oh, this is the wrong room. Please, Chikrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the astral prison. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight. Right. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes 
if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prison, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Hello, lady? Captain's quarters. Mm. I'm not here. Speak to the captain. Oh, shit. Keep away from me. An istic. In my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The huh? Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. No. Uh, was granted and true. Look like an infirmary. I don't know where I am. Our healer's office is past the dormitories. Go before I send you. Damn, dude, calm down. Oh my god, you and your fear of wolves, lady. Hurry up. Yankee warrior, undeniably regal in her mien, black in herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Hard as you rack your part as you rack your brain, the symbol the seeing this symbol in a book about the denizens of the astral plane. It appears to be a depiction of a comet. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features. Gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Her star. You take a moment to fully appreciate your masterpiece. She certainly looks a little less regal now. A wretched display. I thought you better than such juvenile antics. This imperious portrait of the Githyanki warrior queen seems somewhat less so when adorned with your what embellishments. Is this? I need to get rid of it before the Inquisitor sees. If I'm seen speaking with an Istic, Captain Therizin will never let me join the patrol. Not now, Kachuki. We're busy. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Not now, Kachuki! We're busy! 
Hear that, Raja? She wants in. Yeah. Let's play. You lose, Kachoki. <laughs> Go play by yourself. communal use it seems there's a parasite nearby you should take a closer look no one stopped me yet vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259 do you have a question or are you just going to stand there gawking I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you are owed. Lazel, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Zaysk. I will ensure you're cured. It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Even Gif Yankee rarely experiences atheist. You are very lucky, Stig. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathusk. Vlacket's purity distilled. My duty. My right. The divine. The device is an ingenious synthesis of elithid anatomy and metal alloys. It hums with psionic energy, hinting at paths into unknown mines and unseen planes. Stand aside! My time has come. Praise Blacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child. Speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? The 
Sharing Lazel's agony, every cell within her skull bursts into a constellation of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. call to your queen! My queen! Hear me! That thing's killing her! Your vision narrows. You sense myriad specters of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Yes! Yes! Relieve me, Blacken! Yes, child. Faith's hope will. Your marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain, a new sensation rises. Power. Remove her! Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power. <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, the problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. No! I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! That was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathist might have killed me. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. There was nothing to be done. The Gustil corrupted the machine. It must be so. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zathisk's tampering. I should mind my step. That's a friendly looking shadow. Assume nothing. Smoke rises like hot breath. Go on. My time is vital.
parasite brimming with magic. Take it. You've been caught in the act. So much for the perfect crime. The accusation falters. Go on. reported a Things have stayed interesting. Have to keep going. Faith protects me. Nothing hurts anymore. Is stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now. These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Varsh Kogan, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Varsh if you wish. But stay away from the egg. There will be no second warning. Action, not reaction. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. You can tell Kithrak Therazin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance. But I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Not all that arrive late are weak. 
I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. You! What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me. What will you do with it if I entrust it to you? That's what I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Theridan's patience has its limits. Very well. Here. Take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. To the Inquisitor at the crash. The Sathisk's fate. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of crashes that harbored a hundred. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The Queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped illithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Go on then.
can speak up. Ugh, blood, rust, score. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. Fine, but your paraphernalia had better be pristine. On your way, then. Back for more? 